uh, with my first uh, reaction video on uh, well basically it's a post-mortem video of uh, some of my uh, demo scene productions I have released 25 years ago it was coded on an Atari 800 natively which means no emulator no PC uh, directly coded on the machine itself connected to a, a small color TV set and um, basically the, the, the I picked up some smaller production for the first issue of this kind of video series uh, it's called 8k dentro um, which was basically heavily influenced by the Atari ST demo scene not the Amiga because I was back uh, in those days heavily in the Atari scene and um, so that's why I always was um, kind of influenced of the the products I have seen there um, one of the, the 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 ideas of the product was uh, I never coded actually a kind of a sinus dot uh, uh, plotter so-called nowadays <laughs> back I, I I think so I I didn't know how how this was uh, called actually this effect and um, maybe we have a look um, and and I tell you what kind of um, yeah I still remember so basically what you have seen here actually on this still first intro screen is that I have got a pixel counter because uh, on the uh, Atari uh, ST scene there was kind of um, a kind of a competition or world record competition uh, people uh, competing in how many actually dots they can uh, plot per frame on uh, and move them on the screen and um, the 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 what keeps already me or, or or actually what keeps me smiling already is uh, that I put a four digit um, pixel counter uh, on screen and actually you will now see uh, that the number will be used uh, so many dots <laughs> so let's let's start um, yeah it was the second intro um, because I had a 4K release I think your that which we might be uh, look into issue two and the tune itself was uh, taken from a kind of a music editor uh, i had on, on floppy disk uh, because at that time i i wasn't in any kind of video scene group and so the graphics and uh, everything was uh, risk and uh, uh, taken from, from others so let's pause and, uh, the demo. What 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 I have seen or what what you have seen here? This this kind of picture uh, was taken from a actually Atari PC CD-ROM. I found it is kind of a public domain uh, um, picture, and I like that very much. It's kind of a more kind of Greek uh, aesthetic kind of statue picture. Uh, but why did I take that? Because actually it just uses two colors and uh, on the uh, graphics mode I'm using uh, here to, to put actually the, the pixels on screen um, left one color uh, for, for the pixel itself so, so I could easily take uh, uh, another color which I choose uh, uh, white uh, nowadays you call that uh, coding colors because there was no artist choosing this kind of uh, uh, color scheme but actually it worked for me so so um, the pixel counter itself was uh, kind of an yeah kind of an, 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 an uh, indication how many pixels I can display uh, and move around per frame and each iteration I, I add another one uh, but actually it will never take to uh, to uh, even even three digits so so let's see where it remains what also 
nice here is that um, actually the, the, the moving is very smooth for I'm not sure if if I was already in kind um, of fixed point math. I don't know if you know, uh, some some of you don't know what, what kind of fixed point math is. It, 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 uh, the computer itself uh, doesn't have any kind of floating point calculation. Uh, because the machine is from, 1990, uh, from 1978, so uh, PCs and, and even your, your iPhone and your Android phone uh, can calculate uh, many, many, many more uh, kind of floating point numbers per second. Uh, so for, for this kind of smoothness, you need more accuracy than kind of just integer, but that's basically I needed to look into this source code or the, 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 the uh, debugger to see if I actually use that at that point. Uh, um, yeah, actually, it, 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 what the Zenus plotter does is go through kind of Zenus and uh, cosinus tables and have some kind of uh, parameters uh, to go through in different steps different uh, speed and actually when you combine more than two or three uh, uh, readouts uh, of, the, of the tables uh, you get this kind of movement. Now um, what was new for me is as well that actually I put the pixels on speed which was uh, um, with the background uh, image uh, which was mainly done uh, by masking um, and, and taking the, the picture data and combine that with the uh, actual pixel data. Um, as well as kind of a reference to Atari because it's four different big planes. So most of the time, as far as I know, the, the uh, background graphics on Atari ST was put on, on different planes and uh, the dot uh, or the pixel moving effect was done on, a, on a, another big plane. So actually the Atari ST guys never needed to mask actually uh, the, the background graphics. Um, but here on, on C64 or here on Atari you, you actually don't have big planes. So you need to mask uh, the, the, the data um, the data of the graphics correctly to to insert your pixels so um maybe maybe i used um, actually maybe i don't even do masking because um i actually just um or or mathematically or logically or the 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 pixel data into the background graphics um, as I mentioned, the background graphics is just two colors and the uh, pixels uh, are white, which m basically means that I simply can or that into the data and the pixel uh, remains and doesn't get any kind of color clash or, or other word effects. Um, I think that was the, the uh, thing I had an, I, I might remember that I had a, the, the back buffer with the with the um, bitmap of the of the uh, statue graphics and i simply pick on the position of the pixel um, in the in the frame buffer i looked until the same position on the um, uh, graphics buffer of the of the background and uh, get that data there and just or the pixel data into um, Erasing the pixels um, was done in a. Oh, I, oh, I might remember that I stored all the uh, positions for erasing back uh, or for putting back the background data when erasing the pixels because otherwise I would need to copy all the or all the uh, frame data back or the background data back into into it. Uh, to erase uh, the the pixels when they're moving around on the screen each frame and I think I was the CPU was too slow to do that so as you see the maximum um, pixel 
data with my code uh, or the amount the amount of pixels I could uh, move around was uh, 44. I was very proud to have 44 uh, pixels uh, uh, moving in one frame, but to tell the truth, uh, the on the actually on the Atari 8-bit computer and even on C64, the the so-called world record are more than thousand pixels per frame. So um, I was far away back on those days uh, from from actually the the um, the code itself or the the world records. Um, I can tell you why because um, I haven't co used any kind of uh, modern demo scene tricks like unrolling uh, code, uh, unrolling uh, or massive kind of tables uh, to look up data screen positions uh, frame buffer data addresses and all this kind of stuff and um, i remember that basically all the plot routine itself was very real time which means i took the the, uh, the pixel position calculated the 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 frame buffer address put the uh, get the uh, statue graphics put the pixel data in and put that on screen and all in real time and and later on when uh, when uh, the frame was uh, printed on screen then i erased everything back so that's why my groundbreaking code could only display um 44 pixels per frame before um i lost uh, the 50 frames per second uh, effect which was mainly the the um main aim back in those days um, some of the demo scene guys remember that uh, 50 frames per second or die rule so it means um, if you can't reach 50 frames per second to have a kind of a fluent demo effect then uh, you lose and you don't re uh, release the code because then the code was too too uh, lame what we call um, then the the another another uh, simple part was um i remember when watching atari st demos was uh, the so-called uh, dot morphing kind of uh, effects and uh, dot morphing means that uh, you form kind of uh, 3d objects or or or, or text uh, data out of uh, actually pixels moving on screen and um i was uh, curious uh, how how that could be done and remember that 1996 i wasn't so much into demo scene or or even in in kind of uh, there was no internet resources where you simply can find some tutorial or even kind of math tutorial so um Let's have a look what what I called uh, pixel morphing. When you watch now the 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 end screen, you see that out of uh, one pixel uh, um, character data is formed, and basically that's that's pixel morphing. As you see from from the corner, all pixels start to move and form um, character pixels. And actually, that's the one and only effect I have coded only once. So later on, even nowadays, 25 years later, I never coded any kind of pixel uh, morphing again. So um, to be honest, I even <laughs> I even don't know how to do that nowadays. But somehow I managed it uh, in 1996. Um, Basically, what what I am doing is uh, getting a text, uh, looking into uh, into the ROM uh, where the uh, font data is stored for that character. Um, separate all uh, pixels in that character and store that in a, their pixel position in an uh, eight to eight array with each and Y coordinate and uh, basically what, what that happens is a, 
certain man kind of thing that I know the, the end position, I know the start position of each pixel and then I interpolate uh, between the positions and uh, basically that's where the, the pixels are moving. Um, interesting that as well, I must, now I remember that, or actually this, this looked like, um, for that kind of event <laughs> I need to have as well a uh, kind of accuracy. So, so basically I use here 16-bit math with uh, fraction and um, because otherwise with integer and no, no fraction this effect wouldn't be really possible. Um, Actually, it's, 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 it's working quite good. Sometimes you see a pixel not on the right position, but this could be some kind of uh, rounding error. So, um, yeah, that's basically. And um, the, the plot routine for the pixels uh, moving around is the same as the Lucinus uh, Dotter part. So I reuse the routine. Just didn't move around some kind of sinus curve, but it moves straight uh, in the line. And what makes me wonder as well is that actually all my nowadays uh, well-known uh, um, toolbox for this kind of effect, like um, uh, um, fast multiplication for uh, the uh, reciprocal uh, table which is actually a division which you need here and 8-bit uh, computers doesn't have any kind of division command and 8.8 uh, uh, fixed-point math and all this kind of stuff I, I wasn't aware of that back in uh, 1996 so actually I, I, I it, it seems I, I took my math book wrote some, some uh, uh, formulas and transferred that back into machine code and uh, I can't remember how long it took to make that nowadays I, I think I would take weeks to do that and it seems um, yeah when you are younger you are faster somehow in, in, in your brain is working better um, as you see, here's my old uh, 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 email address. Interesting, it's, uh, it's of the University of uh, my hometown, and LZ means Latin Central, um, which means uh, uh, yeah, kind of IT department of. Uh, why did I put that uh, star? Okay, strange, and. Basically, now again, I transfer then the, the uh, old graphics and then back to the back profile uh, where, where the pixel plotter takes the, the uh, restore data when, when moving the pixels around. And that's, that's actually quite nice. When I, now, when I think about it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nothing more to add. Um, my first kind of post-mortem. Uh, as I said, tools that I used were, um, I think this one used, I didn't use the people assembler, but I used maybe already the Thorsten uh, Carwood uh, macro assembler, but uh, I'm, that's a thing um, I don't remember. Um, the source code, must be lost, maybe, because um, what I found uh, were old, uh, from 1997 I got some old source code on, on copy disk, but this one, I bet it's lost in the end, or even lost lost, which means destroyed and, uh, yeah, the past is in the past. Um, I can watch that endlessly, to be honest. If I start to want to watch it in an uh, old child video. So, um, yeah, guys, take care. I 
don't know if you device that first one because it's without any kind of script anything just out of my mouth, out of my head and I just went to the event. So um, let's see what, what else 